Hey guys, Nerdcore Dave back again. I know I just uploaded a video yesterday, but um, kind of geeked because uh, we hit up a dollar bin today. I'm on staycation and we hit up a dollar bin today. And uh, some of the fines, in fact, actually one of the fines uh, that I got out of there is just mind blowing. Um, and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Um, so let's get to it, man. We'll make it short and sweet. Uh, two books I paid cover price for. Number one, somehow I missed this. I thought I ordered this and I didn't. Uh, what if Peter Parker was the Punisher? Um, they happen to have them still on the shelf. I cannot believe it. I was just whining because I didn't get one of these uh, last night and this morning. So I was very happy to see that on the shelf. Then Walmart. There's um, Walmart exclusives I was telling you about. There's allegedly the first appearance of a certain character in here. I don't know who it is. Didn't read it yet. I kind of flipped through it real quick while I was standing in line. And um, there was a female in there. I don't know. Maybe that was it. I don't know. But um, what I can tell you is it's very hard to find a good copy of this. Um, Todd, Tad, uh, looked at a Walmart twice. Couldn't find a good copy. Uh, my local Walmart didn't have a good copy. They were all beat to shit. Um, this one, we had to go through the stack. We found two good copies. So make sure you look at the sides. Um, but also look at these corners, but, and make sure this is lined up where it says bat, giant size Batman. But, um, the corners, what we find is the corners are all dinged up. Um, I've actually saw some tears in there. It's not so good, but anyways, uh, this comic shop we went to, we dived in their dollar, bin. we don't normally go. It's the only second time we've ever been there. Um, they added something from the Halloween comic fest, some sort of star Wars preview, grabbed that up for free. Now. Everything after this, except for one book that was $2, everything else is in the, in the dollar bin. And uh, you're going to shit. <laughs> so I've been wanting to get one, hold of one of these just because I love the cover. And, you know, I'm a big Venom fan and I'm trying to catch up on my Venom stuff. So this was a great find. Um, you guys know that I went and saw Robert Hack this weekend. And I was glad to find a Chilling Tales of Sabrina in there. Uh, this Venomize actually is in perfect condition, by the way. Sabrina's got one spinal tick. Uh, I'm not sure where. I think it's like right in here somewhere. I'm not upset for a dollar. Then these guys I picked up. The uh, Deadpool Secret Secret Wars. If you guys aren't familiar, um, it tells a story that took place around the original Marvel Secret Wars time with Deadpool that uh, ties him to the symbiote that we all know and love. So I've been wanting to read that. Then, now here's where we get into the juicy, the juicy stuff. Um, Fantastic Four, tw Ultimate Fantastic Four 21, first appearance of Marvel Zombies Universe. Uh, it's not in very good shape. It has a couple of spinal ticks. Uh, it's probably in fine condition. But you know what? For a dollar, I'll pick these up every time. Um, then we got into some stuff, newer stuff that I'm really enjoying. Well, I guess this is older stuff to you guys probably, but to me it's new. Um, I didn't have one of these. This is the Spider-Verse stuff that I, that's, that's new to me. Um, this is the first appearance of, oh, the first appearance of Solus, the Inheritor. Uh, but it's his cameo. This is, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number nine. And then in number 11 is his first full appearance. I'm sure you guys can remember these covers. And then this one, this is actually the one I was searching for when I found these ones. Um, this is the first appearance of the Le Leopardon. That's the uh, Japanese. I actually got two of these guys. This is number 12. This is the Japanese robot Spider-Man. If you guys ever seen that, look on YouTube if you're not familiar. It's something, man. Uh, your life is, you're missing out on something in life if you don't see that. Your life is not complete. Then I grabbed up this guy, Superior Spider-Man number 32. First appearance of the Spider Army. That's um, They jumped through the multiverse or something. Um, so definitely check that out. It's the, the, pre, the prelude to uh, the Spider-Verse. Grabbed up one of these. I don't think I have one of these. First appearance of Stepford Cuckoos. Um, also the first appearance of Angel. Actually, I might have grabbed one of these before. I'm thinking it's the Angel from... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Stepford Cuckoos and the Angel from the... I think it's the Angel from the um, first class movie. Then, here's the one I paid $2 for. Another Ultimate Fantastic Four. Um, I'm going to be throwing these online. 
uh, sell these. These are the these are the ones I'm really excited about getting because I'm gonna throw them online, and make a couple bucks because I have so many of them. Uh, then back to the dollars. Found another uh, Spider-Man '76 first appearance of the Crown Morbius movie. I think these are it, now they've kind of tamed down. They dropped down from forty to like fifteen twenty, but I got like three of them, so they're going online. And then here's the good stuff, guys. You gonna poop? Um, <laughs> Got another, and this is uh, probably a mid-grade, um, second cameo appearance of Rescue, who we all know, the uh, leaked leaked photos for the Avengers upcoming Avengers movie show uh, Rescue in it. That's the uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, Pepper Potts, Potts character as um, a form of Iron Man. But here, check this out, guys. But wait, there's more. Um, <laughs> this is gold. I found this in there for a dollar. This is the, I don't, I think it's the second print variant of number 10. Number 10, for some reason, is the cameo. And I keep saying, I don't understand why the cameo is the hot one. But number 10 is the hot one. This is the hard to find second print. Um, I think it's the first cover appearance of Rescue. Now this thing, listen man, it's a little worse for wear. Uh, mid-grade, but mid-grade, what am I, I mean, if it, the, the high-grade ones are going for about 100 so I'm going to say I can probably get 40 or 50 bucks out of this thing. I'm probably going to sell a set. I actually have a set of mid-grade, so I might as well just sell it as a set. But, uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to share that with you real quick. I cannot, I couldn't believe my luck, and I'll tell you what, my heart, heart was racing when I found this guy. So, um, all right, you guys take care. Have a good week, and uh, we're going to go check out a new comic shop on Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be odd because this comic shop's only open for like four hours a week, two days total of four hours so we're going to be there when they open on wednesday and dig through their dollar bins and um i'll let you guys know how it goes and uh probably throw a video up with that and my uh pull list from my local comic shop until then guys take care and stay nerdcore